What is up YouTube? Khan here once again with an art commentary type video for you guys. Now this is going to be a little bit different than most of the other videos I upload to my video game channel here. This is going to be a tips and tricks video to help you guys get a chem strike in Call of Duty Ghosts. For those that don't know, the chem strike is the new nuke score streak. You need to get 25 kills without using any assault score streaks or any score streaks that have the ability to get you kills. So... I'm going to give you guys a few tips and tricks uh, based on what I have done to get uh, the chem strikes that I've gotten so far. Now I need to give you guys a little bit of a heads up. I do play ground war whenever I get a chem strike. So if you do not have a Xbox One, PS4, or PC version of Call of Duty Ghosts, getting a chem strike is going to be really, really tough. Now I'm not saying it's impossible and you shouldn't try to go for it the same way I am. I'm just going to say, you know, it's going to be a little bit slower and you're going to probably... Um, have to run a little bit faster to try to get the chem strike. Now to start off with, as you can see, this is Octane Domination. This is why I consider my specialty map when I try to go for chem strikes. I usually get very, very close whenever I play Octane Domination. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about my class that I start off with here. Now, my class is a light machine gun. It's the M27IAR. It has a foregrip. A thermal. Now for my score streaks, it's the IMS, the Griffin, and the Helo Pilot. And you might be asking yourself, why would I run strike packages if I'm trying to get a chem strike? And the basic reason why I run those three score streaks is the IMS will get my back when I, I need a help. And the other two score streaks are there, so I am more concerned about getting those than the chem strikes. So... I'm more really in it to try to get the helo pilot, and then once I get the helo pilot, I think in my head, well, I'm already halfway to the chem strike. I might as well just try to go for it, and then I loop my chem, my um, my IMS, and then my R2 score streaks, and voila, you have the chem strike at that point. So it's just kind of motivation to say, hey, you're halfway there. Just pick it up, do this one more time, and then, hey, you got it. And then you got those two awesome score streaks to run still when everything's all over, and then you get like 60, 70 kills a game. Now back onto my perks here, you're going to want to run Blind Eye, Incog, Scavenger, Amplify, and Hardline. The reason why you want to run Hardline is Assist Counts as Kills is such a big help and it only makes the, the Chem Strike 24 kills so it makes it a lot easier. It doesn't sound like getting one more kill would be that hard but with the Assist Counts as Kill it ends up being usually um, 3 or 4 less that you need to do to get the Chem Strike. Amplify is very important to have at almost all times during Call of Duty Ghosts because Amplify will help you uh, realize if someone's coming around you so you can get the drop on them and then get another free kill. Scavenger is obviously there so you can get some ammo and keep using the gun that you know how to use instead of having to pick up someone else's and pretty much take a gamble on whether it's a good weapon or not. Blind Eye is there to obviously hide you from score streaks. And then I also have Incog on, and Incog is such a lifesaver in this game. If you are not running Incog, you are playing this game incorrectly. Incog is on, so uh, when people look at you with thermal, because half the people that play this game run thermal scopes, they cannot see you. Um, it makes it very hard for them to shoot you because you are not standing out when they are looking around the map. So, I do recommend running those perks. I do recommend running strike packages. Um, it doesn't have to be the exact ones I'm running. You could even go for, like, the Loki Sally or whatever it's called and go for something a little bit tougher. But I say run high score streaks to kind of mo motivate you to keep going and keep playing, trying to get the chem strike. Um, the foregrip and then the thermal on a light machine gun is a killer combination the m27 is a fantastic weapon i do recommend that you run this weapon with this exact combination and you'll see my gameplay over time it's just it's just murder on the enemy team now also when i'm playing you can obviously tell that i'm staying mostly in one spot and you might be saying, well, you're just camping this whole game, so of course you're going to probably get a chem strike if no, if no one's able to shoot you. And it's not that people aren't able to shoot me, I'm just able to kind of tell where they're going to be at all times when they want to try to shoot at me. So it's just me knowing the map and having the advantage over them for knowing the map so well. And to get a chem strike, I hate to say it, but you're going to have to camp most of the game to, to get one in Call of Duty Ghosts. The, the spawns are really bad, and... You just don't know when they're going to flip and it's going to not 
go in your favor pretty much at any time during this game. So what I like to do on Octane especially is I like to sit at the top of one of the bases. On the, the opposite side of this map, I like to sit at the top of the motel. And then on the side of the map that I spawned on, I like to sit on top of the garage and just kind of camp in there the whole game. Now, obviously, I do run out of ammo at some point during this gameplay, and I'm forced to leave to try to get ammo, which that's the worst well, situation you usually get into like is there's either people all around you that start swarming you, or you run out of ammo and you're forced to leave to try to scavenge some. And in this gameplay, I knew I was going to be able to get those the chemistry because the team was very very bad that we were playing against but my ammo supply was running low so I figured you know what I have enough ammo to kill one or two more people and then I have to run outside so I go ahead I grab my um my light machine gun and then I slowly yeah, advance it. towards um where the enemies kind of might be so you'll see me leave the garage and start hanging yeah, towards the strip bro. club partly way through this chem strike gameplay and start working on picking off enemy players to try to get them to drop a scavenger pack and then I do get them to drop scavenger packs and then I decide to camp in the, the strip club because it's too much of a risk to walk back across the map and then risk dying so I sit in the strip club for the rest of this gameplay and I end up getting the chem strike in here you can see during the gameplay I put an IMS up in the strip club where most of the people will walk up. That is very important. You need to have something to protect you at all times where people are bound to come up and try to kill you. Once someone knows you are there, they are going to be very, very focused on killing you, especially when you start getting to 20 kills. Everyone it starts focusing in on you and says, Oh my gosh, this person is at 20 kills. They haven't used their score streaks yet. They're going to get the chem strike. We need to kill him. So everyone's going to be focused running in on you, and that's when you're going to want to put down your IMS, and then it will save your life almost all the time. The IMS is like one of the best score streaks to run if you're going for the chem strike. It will almost certainly save you from a disastrous end. Now, at the end of this gameplay, I do get the chem strike here, and from there, I just go into my two other assault score streaks, the Griffin and the Helo Pilot. And then the game ends uh, shortly after that. So those are my tips for trying to get the chem strike. Run a light machine gun with thermal and a foregrip. Uh, make sure you are running strike packages specifically for the IMS. And then two really high score streaks to keep you motivated to keep going and try to get higher and higher score streaks. And keep those exact perks that I stated before. What? Blind Eye, Incog, Scavenger, <laughs> Amplify, Shit. and Hardline. They are going to be perfect from when you try to get the chem strike, just give it a shot. I can guarantee you, you will play a lot better. And don't forget to camp where you will have an advantage over the enemy team. Pick out a spot where you know people are going to spawn and where people where you will have an area where you can sit to see where people like to sit themselves and just keep killing them over and over again. And that's going to be it for me, guys. This was my first chem strike video, and I plan on making more in the future. And that's going to be it, guys. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel already if you haven't. And I will see you guys later. Peace. Uh, I'd rather just do this now.
flush the um, <laughs> you flush them out with the Griffin. I'll get all the stragglers that come outside. Good job. Report to command for debrief. 